In this lesson, we are going to talk about handling events. Handling events is very similar to handling events on document object model elements, I mean in the HTML elements. Let's see how it works in an HTML elements inside src, right click and create a new file and set file name to a component name like toggle button.js here I'm going to create a very simple button function toggle button and inside that what I'm gonna return is a very simple button and I'm going to use the HTML style event handling on click and using double quote Let's set it to alert, hello, and close it. And let's set the name of button to hello. At the end, we need to export the fault toggle button. Save it. And inside app.js, instead of returning clock, I'm going to render toggle button. As we get the suggestion here by pressing tab, automatically it's going to be imported. And let's see what we have. Here we have hello. But if I click on it, it does not work. And we are getting this warning, invalid event handler property on click. Did you mean on click with capital C? In React, when we want to handle an event like on click, we should use the camel case style so instead of small c we, use, we need to see capital c also it's it cannot be a literal string like this let's see what we get if i click on unclick i'm getting this error it says expected to be a function not a string so what we need to do is to copy the content of this get rid of double quotes and use curly brackets to put a javascript function and then define a function using arrow function and inside that function i enter the command which is alert if i save it automatically it's gonna get formatted like this and let's see what we get now, if I click on hello, I'm getting the right result. Alert hello will appear here. So we implemented onclick handler on a button and we run a command like this. Another difference between HTML event handling and handling event in React is that you cannot return false to prevent default behavior in React you need to use prevent default explicitly. Let's test it. I'm going to create a div, move the button inside that div and create a link. Let's set href to, to hashtag page and define unclick. Inside unclick, I'm going to define a function name handle click and set the caption of this link to page let's define handle click here right before return define a function handle click and in this function i'm going to just alert linked clicked okay let's make the screen wide and here is the code of this component. Let's test it without having prevent default. If I click on page, I get link clicked, but I will be redirected to the page. If you want to prevent the default behavior, which is going to another page, you need to pass E as a event parameter for click event and before any command use 
e dot prevent default to prevent redirecting to another page. Let's test it again. I just go to the home page, click on page and click on OK. As you see, the URL did not change because we are using prevent default and the link will not work as it expected to do. Great. Let's improve the toggle button. And what we are going to do is to mix event handling with states. What I'm going to do here is to convert this component to a class component because I'm going to use state class toggle component extends react dot you know by pressing dot automatically it gets imported component and get rid of parentheses also for handle click get rid of function because it's the method of this component toggle button class and for the return wrap it inside render function like this create render function and move return to the render function that's the way we convert a function component to a class component for handle click we need to use this dot because handle click is part of toggle button object and we need to access that using this great let's see if it works or not i click on hello aha uh -huh. it works i'm going to update this what i'm gonna do is to define an state for is toggle on like what we did in previous lesson we need to define a construct or function that accept props and inside that call super props let's define default state like is toggle on by default is true and in the handle click let's get rid of the code here and set this dot set state here I'm going to use the second style of state, which is a function. So instead of setting a new state, I'm going to define a function. And in this function, we have a parameter, which is a state. And inside this function, what I'm gonna return is the new state. In the new state, I can use the previous state here. So it's gonna be is toggle on. To set the new value for is toggle on, I check state dot is toggle on. I mean the previous value of is toggle on. And if it's true, return false otherwise return true let's save it and let's rename small t to capital t to respect the camel case naming that's it for handle click i'm going to get rid of this link and for the on click instead of defining this sample function i'm going to use this dot handle click so when you click on hello this function will run let's check the result if i click on hello what do i get i'm getting an error it says cannot read properties set a state of undefined why do we get this error here we need to be careful about the meaning of this in handle click function in javascript class method are not bounded by default i mean this does not refer to the toggle button it refers to handle click itself so to fix this issue and pointing this to the 
toggle button instance, we need to use this line of code in the constructor. This dot handle click equal to this dot handle click dot bind and I'm going to bind this to the handle click method. Let's test it again. If I click on hello, there is no error at all. The last step is going to be using state and is toggle on in the button caption. Get rid of hello and check this dot state dot is toggle on. If it's true, show on as a button caption. Otherwise, use off. Save and test it. By default, it's on because in the constructor we set is toggle on to true. If I click on it, it's gonna get off. Let's open component here and click on toggle button. Here the state is false. If I click on it, is toggle on is gonna get true and we have on here. Great, that's it about mixing, handling events and states in a React component as an alternative for binding this to an event we can use experimental public class field syntax and it's like this convert handle click to this style use equal sign and it's gonna be like a arrow function by having this there is no need to bind event let's save it and test it as you see it works without error so we are going to use this style with because it's simpler and there is no need to have extra line of code here okay this time i'm going to test passing arguments to event handler let's say in this button i'm going to pass an argument to the handle click how can i do that let's say i'm gonna pass some value does it work or not let's test it as you see we are getting this error because when you define a function calling not only the function name calling function using parentheses for an event it runs again and again and we will get maximum update if accessed to fix this issue we need to use this style defining arrow function like this save it and test the result this one we don't get any error and if i click on on and off it works let's see if we get the parameter here i'm going to define console log e and let's click on it go to console and as you see we are getting the value what if if we want the event argument in the handle click we need to pass event here it's the event of this button and after the value I need to pass the event. We need to have a change in the handle click. Set the first parameter for handle click to the value, and it's gonna have some value here. And change console log to console log value. Let's test it. If I click on on, I'm getting some value here. So by having this change, you can have access to the event parameter for button click inside the handle click. If I click on on, the first parameter is the event handler and second parameter is the value that I passed here. Great, that's it about this lesson. In this lesson we test, we create a toggle button component and inside that we created a toggle button that when we click on it the state is gonna change from true to false and we will have on and off 
in the screen. Also, we have learned how to pass an argument to the event handler using this style. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, which is about conditional rendering. Bye-bye.